I always say all authors should be speakers and all speakers should be authors. I mean, I actually struggle with that because I'm an introvert. Why would you try to be somebody else and think of how much effort it takes to be somebody you're not? And that's the other thing people think, well, I've got to be a speaker. I've got to be like Tony Robbins out there. The most powerful thing you could do is just be you. Yeah. It's been working all of these years. Why would you try to be somebody else? And think of how much effort it takes to be somebody you're not. It takes no that's, effort. Yeah, that's you. really such a, a, a beautiful point, Joel, because some of the conversations that we've had here is about the fear of being seen. I mean, I actually struggle with that because I'm an introvert and I'm much better, which is why I help people write their books. I'm much better about understanding how to get things out in print, you know, to get the message down, to get it written, to get it published than I am to say it. And it's really been something I've needed to work on as a person like personal growth to recognize exactly what you're saying is that I know there's people who need to hear from me and I got to get past myself and my own fears and my own stuff and just focus on them to get out there. But that's a very common fear, just like you brought up with Jerry Seinfeld and his joke. Most people don't want to be in front of people. There are a few people that love to be on stage and they would much rather be a speaker than they would be to write a book. And I, here's a funny thing. When people come to me and they talk about a message and that they want help getting the message out, I always say all authors should be speakers and all speakers should be authors. But we typically fall into one camp or the other in terms of our comfort level. Well, that's very true. And if you think about that, if you truly are listening to this because you're a messenger on a mission, what does that mean? A messenger means you're carrying something, which is your knowledge, your wisdom, your experience, your insights. And you've seen that those or that knowledge or insights or wisdom that you have has blessed and helped other people. And now you want to broaden that. You want to spread that. That's your mission to get that out to more people. And that's the power of speaking, to put it on a video, to put it on a podcast like this, to do it at a live event or a virtual event and share that. And then make it all about them, not about you. And, and if you just think how often people use that. So I'm going to tell you, so this is my favorite story. And I love okay, telling yeah, tell story. me a story. All right. But what did I just say? I'm going to tell you a story. I, you know, I just love the story. As a matter of fact, it's my favorite story. No one cares. It's not about you. So instead of saying that, you could say, here's a story that might become one of your favorites. Oh, because I like that. In this story, you're going to hear how a person much like you, facing the same challenges you had, was able to do two things that turned a negative into a positive. So here's the story. Okay, so that's the way to set up a story. But what does the ordinary speaker say? I just love telling this story. It's my favorite story. You're absolutely right. Yes. So that is get that out way. of the way. That's, that's your assignment. Get that out of the way.